Hello everyone and welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. I'm right in the middle of making a video on burdock potato chips, but another thing that I'm going to do today since I'm harvesting burdock is we get these big leaves. And uh, many of the pioneers and the old time people would wrap their meat in the burdock leaves and then throw it into the fire or the coals to cook it. It would keep it moist, uh, keep it from burning, and it would add a flavor to it. Um, I'm not going to do it in the fire, I'm going to put it in the oven because what I'm more interested in is what flavor it would give because when you eat these leaves they're bitter. <laughs> so anyway we're going to try it with some pork. I'm going to find a bigger leaf than this and um, let's give it a try. Since I'm harvesting burdock and we get all those leaves like I said I decided to see if the meat rabbits would eat them and they seem to really love them. Okay so this is some of the burdock that I've harvested so far. I want to find me a big leaf and I would say that is a big leaf. <laughs> Break this off. I'm going to go inside and wash this up and let's get our meat wrapped up. Okay, everyone. Well, we have one very big burdock leaf here. And I am going to take and put pork country style rib. Let's do two of those. Let's do three of them. Let's do it like this here. Put a little seasoning on there. All right, well, I was going to put it into like a cake pan or something, but I decided to use a bread pan instead because I can tuck it in and this won't pop loose and everything. A lot of times when they do this over a fire, you'll take and put the leaf by the fire for a couple minutes to wilt it so it bends easier. But this is a really big leaf and, and we're not having any trouble. So, all right, I'm going to throw it into a 350 degree oven and cook it till it's done. All right, I came back out to check the rabbits to see how they're doing on their burdock leaves to see if they wanted another one. And no, it seems like they do not like it. <laughs> they chewed on it a little bit and they are just letting it lay. <laughs> okay, everyone, well, here it is. It's really moist. It kept it really, really moist, but I don't taste any of the burdock in it at all. There should be a distinct bitterness if I could. It's actually really good. <laughs> well guys, wrapping it in burdock leaves works real well. It did keep it moist. It didn't do a whole lot for any extra flavor. Okay everyone, so I ate two of those three ribs for lunch and you know at first I was kind of unimpressed because there is no taste of the burdock in there to add anything to it, but what was surprising is no matter when you, this is just a country style pork rib, no matter if you barbecue it, put it in the oven, however you cook it, this part is always dry. That's the white, whitest meat part and that's always the part for me that's kind of sucks. There was not one spot on that rib that was dry. So wrapping it in that leaf, it's such a thick, big leaf, it must pull the moisture of the leaf into the meat and really hold it in there. So anyway, I think now that that was a, a really a pretty neat thing that I'm definitely going to try again. Thanks a lot for watching the Joe and Zach Survival Channel.